Wagwa people, we are back. Master League, The Journeyman, episode 63, brothers. And we're in it today with some Champions League action. Dino Zagreb at home to start off with. Then we play Udinese. And then we have the Milan Derby in this episode, brothers. So strap in, get ready for some more Journeyman action. Can we keep beating and feasting in Italy? We've done Denmark, we've done Portugal, we've beaten Spain. We're now trying to conquer Italy and Europe at the same time. Dino Zagreb standing our way. Can we get into flowing again, brothers? All right, so last episode, we've been struggling a bit in the league. We had a nice win against Pisa. Got ourselves back into it in the Italian Cup. So confidence is back high again at the Giuseppe Miazza Internazionale team. Let's go. Here's Pavon now. Dino Zagreb trying to get that defensive situation going. Hakimi's gone in the inside. Good save by the goalkeeper. Using his left nut sack to try and keep the ball out. But he does well. Zagreb we'll clear their lines. Inter Milan though putting that pressure on from day dot. Champions League so far has been successful with Leipzig in our group as well. We've been dominating things. Good things. Here's Lukaku. Turns Lukaku. Big man scores. And it's taken 25 minutes to break Dynamo down. Who have lost two games out of two in the group so far. And we are beasting and a feasting with the big man. Lukaku up top. Makes it 1-0. Hakimi on the inside to Zanolio. Little touch in, beautiful touch inside. And there's a spin move and there's the finish. Platter to Lukaku. And finally as well, Drew Bellingham has his own face on Pez. Been playing for England and everything. He didn't have his own bloody face on Pez. He finally does. So that's a good thing as well. Martinez, nice little spin move back inside. Lukaku's made the run. The big man again. Oh, he's 31 years old now, but he's found a new lease of life in them legs. All right, here's Gonzalo Plata, the signing from Sporting Lisbon to Jude Bellingham with his new face to Martinez. He's touching side. Martinez has that time and it's 2 0. Roto Martinez makes it 2. And then to Milana, cruising 33 minutes gone now. You cannot give the Argentine that much space and time in the group. In the group? What the hell am I talking about? In the box. This brother is deadly and he will finish things off. Look at his touch inside and look, he's holding his man off. The Zagreb defender wanted none of that. Martinez just slots it in the corner. Like I said, you cannot give a striker that deadly that much time in the box. All right, 37 minutes played now. And Inter Milan look good. And the ball's behind. Lukaku's broke his line. Pushes a man out of the way. Lukaku holds him off. Round the keeper. What's the keeper doing? <laughs> and Lukaku finishes it off. And it's 3-0 Inter Milan. And we're still in the first half. And the goalkeeper's positioning is somewhat questionable, brothers. My goodness. What is he thinking? Well, Lukaku finishes off deadly in the corner. But look at this pass. Beautiful defence splitting pass. The defender wide, none of Lukaku. And the beast mode engaged. And Lukaku just slots it at the near post. 3 0 into Milan. All right, into the second half now. Zagreb need to do something. They've been dominated so far here in Italy. They're going to go route one now. Can they get over the top of Hakimi? Nice deflection down though, Zanolio. Oh, deflected inside though, the mistake there. And Petrovic, oh, good to challenge. Oh, still his man. Oh, save by Costa. And the goalkeeper finally coming to his own, the Portuguese keeper. And then Dyer gives away a free kick, unfortunately, there. But taking it early. Oh, Costa's there again. Rebound in the area. And in the end, into land, scramble it clear. Ooh, that was close. All right, 3 0 here. I think one more goal would completely kill off Dino Zagreb now. They're trying to get an extra flick on, though. Intercepted well. This is beautiful. Pavon. Out wide, can we get the quick counter attack? Zanolio, little turn inside, Lukaku lays it across. Martinez, spin moves his man. Martinez! <laughs> Roberto Martinez with an absolute screamer. Oh my goodness, the Argentine hit one from distance. Put a little bit of yam power on that bad boy. And it is 4-0 Inter Milan against Dynamo Zagreb. And the keeper had no chance. My goodness. What a counter-attack from Inter Milan. Lukaku into Martinez. Gets goal side of his defender. And look at the finish. Top bins indeed. 4-0 brothers. Beautiful. We still have time for more. Inter Milan making sure that we dominate this group. I think a win in Croatia after this. And Lukaku's in again. It's 5. Oh my goodness. I was about to say another win in the next episode against Zagreb. Away from home will give us 12 points and we've probably pretty much won the group and qualified. And Lukaku makes it 5 here just to make the goal difference even higher. The curl from the big man. What a finish. And it's a good form leading into this Milan derby. Like I said, we've got Udinese after this. But what a win after beating Pisa as well. Back to back in the in Coppa Italia and also Cali in the last episode. We finally got some form here in Italy. 
And here's Gonzalo Plata again to Berhute. We're looking for a sixth. Berhute sees Greenwood open up. Here's Greenwood! Oh, saved by the goalkeeper. Normally Mason Green with his bed and button, a little bit of yams. And finishes it off. All right, Pavon, corner ball. Ball's whipped in. Can we get one last chance? Cleared away by Dino Zagreb. And there is the final whistle. Inter Milan, five. Dynamo Zagreb, nil. Lukaku with his hat trick. Martinez with two. Inter Milan with three points. Beautiful. We'll take that, brothers. Let's check out the other results. So Leipzig beat Shakhtar the next 3-1. So it does bode well for us in the group as well. We're kind of dominating things in the group now. We're five points clear over Leipzig. Like I say, one more win. Definite qualification. You'd probably say group winners as well. Anyway, back to Serie A. We need to catch up with Napoli and Juventus. We're currently third in Serie A. We need to get back in the building. Trying to get back that top spot and then dominate from then on. Like I say, so far, we've won the league title everywhere we've been. Let's see if we can get this Serie A title. We're not leaving Italy unless we've won some kind of trophy for Inter Milan. Let's get it. Udinese visit the Giuseppe Miazza. And again, looking at on paper, it should be three points in the bag. But a mistake there already. Inter Milan look more nervous in this area. I don't know what's going on. Need an early goal. Here's the Kulevsky. What can he do? Touch inside to Bellingham. Beautiful football out wide to Greenwood. Nice little flick inside. Lukaku gets touched. Lukaku shoots. And that's what we needed to calm the nerves. The big man after six and a half minutes. He's into Milan the lead. And into Milan are beasting. And this boy is punching his weight again. My goodness, he weighs about 25 stone, but the brother can move and finish. What a goal from Inter Milan. Finally broken the deadlock. Mason Greenwood finding his feet in Italy as well. And we have a 1-0 lead for Inter Milan. Touch inside, Kulevsky. Nicely done to Bellingham. To his compatriot, Greenwood, who takes that touch. in Lukaku again, sharp as a knife, brothers. Gets that early finish. 1-0 Inter Milan. Udinese now oof, punched by Lunin. Nice little punch. I thought try him out in Serie A. His cost has, like I say, been mixed form. Can we get the, the counter-attack again? There's only two up front, but Kulevsky's joined him. And Kulevsky's got that overlapping run. And within three passes, into Milan are in. Kulevsky! Oh, and in the end, comfortable for Bravo. All right, 30 minutes played. Udinese penned in on their own box as well. I've noticed a lot of teams do that. They play compact on their own area and then try and hit you on their set pieces and counter-attacks. Into Milan at the moment have that 1-0 lead. Here's the Nolio. Can we find that little... Inside pass, it's nice again to Lukaku, shoots off the post. Inter Milan nearly found their way through again. Hakimi, and it goes out for a corner ball. All right, corner ball. Here's Pavon. Nice little ball whipped in. We've got a free header in there, saved off the line. It was Hakimi again coming in. And Udinese clear their lines again. How on earth Inter have not increased their lead? Still only 1-0 here in the first half. Zanolio out wide. Here is Hakimi again to Pavon. Can they get the 1-2? We can. We've got two runners in the box. Hakimi looks up. There's Lukaku. And another save by Bravo. Second half underway now. Inter Milan need that second goal just to make sure these three points. I do believe Lukaku. Nice little touch inside to Greenwood. Who lays it off again to Kulevsky. Who cuts into his right foot. Kulevsky straight down the throat of Bravo. Udinese holding on strong here. 82nd minute. We do need a second one. Bear Hute's on. What can he do? Lays it inside to Greenwood. Greenwood's just trying to hold the ball up, trying to spin move. He can't get this. Deflecting through everywhere. Udinese managed to clear it away a little bit to Rodrigo. Keeps it in play just. Tries to go along to Akaka, but sees nobody up there. Here's Bellingham, though. Can intercept to Robinho. He's straight on. Bear Hute's made the run. Bear Hute turns. Bear Hute shoots. And there's the young man, Joram Bear Hute. Guarantees all three points in Serie A. Bear Hute, the adopted son. Gets another goal in Italy. And Inter Milan finally seal this matchup. 2-0 against Udinese. And it's that man again. Berhute, the teenage wonder kid. Beasting and a feasting yet again. But look at the counter-attacking skills. Bellingham laying it forward. And there is Rubinho into Berhute. who has got time to turn. And Bravo's unsighted. And Inter Milan finally have their second goal. All right. Two minutes left to play. Here's Bastoni. Into Berhute again. Berhute is looking for another goal in this game. He's driving forward. He's got Greenwood with him. He's opened up for Berhute. Berhute will shoot. Saved by Bravo. He's had a busy day today. The Udinese goalkeeper. And in the end, Udinese cleared their lines. Intercepted well though by Skinnier to Bellingham. And into Milano back in again. They're still pushing forward even though they've got this win in the bag. And the referee looks at his watch. And there is the final whistle. Tunnel into Milan. And what a win we did need. A big win indeed before the Milan derby. And let's hope Napoli and Juventus have dropped some points so we can try and claw back that little bit of a gap that opened up with our defeat to Lazio and our draw as well. All right, let's have a quick look then. Um, so Napoli won 2-0, Juventus won 2-0. So as you are, we're only pointing behind though. We're four points ahead of Spezia. 
But let's get this press conference stuff out of the way. What's occurring, referee? What's going on? All right, you topple Cali when you need to get here. How are you going to approach the derby? We're going to approach it by smashing Milan. We've got to win every derby game. It doesn't matter who we're playing. We're going to win. Now, listen here, bro. All right, we're going to win today. Every time I come in here, you ask me some dumbass questions, all right? It's a Milan derby. We're here to win everything. So don't get me wrong, brothers. It's going to be a tough game, but we're going to win it all, okay? I'll see you at match day. Don't ask me some dumb questions next time. All right, guys, let's do a damn press conference with the dumbest journalist in the world. Now I'm in here talking to you, bros. I could be at Nando's eating chicken and waffles right now, but today's derby day, so I'm here with you, and I've won every single derby I've been in. Portugal, Denmark, Spain. I ain't about to lose now to Milan, all right? Koleski, wipe that damn grin off your face while I slap you, okay? Today's all about the three points. Get in there. The man from Greg's behind me here will bring some pasties after the game. Let's win this. Let's enjoy it. Let's go. So Milan derby, brothers. Milan versus Inter. Phil Mitchell, Billy Mitchell. And looks like John Travolta, the referee. And let's get it. Costa's back in goal for us. It's a big game. Probably the toughest game so far we've played. Um, I mean, Lazio were a tough team, don't get me wrong. But in terms of squads and actual pressure on, the Milan derby is the pressure. We're classes the away team today, even though it's the same stadium. I know, I know, I know. But let's get it, brothers. AC Milan are struggling at the moment. They are near the bottom of the table. Reports of their manager possibly being sacked. But what can we do? It's nothing to do with us. We're here to inflict more pain and try and catch up with Napoli and Juventus. So what happens in Milan? The pressure's on them, brothers. They have to beat us, really, to be honest. More. There's major pressure on them, boys, to try and do something. We've just got to keep our writs about us and do our thing. So let's get this Milan derby underway. All right, here's Rafael Leo. Nice little spin move outside, but Kessie can't join him up. Inter Milan again playing that Christmas tree formation and breaking everything down from Inter Milan at the moment. It has been all Milan so far. Nice little one twos everywhere. Touched back inside. Here's Lucas Vasquez. Cuts back in again. Can we defend it well? It's come across. Leo! And Costa's there. He watches it carefully. Been all Milan so far. 21 minutes in. AC putting the pressure on. We're having the break of the ball. Can we get something now? Zanolio lays it off. Kulevsky. Look at, look at AC Milan's formation. Just pens you in. It seems that like they've got 12 players on the pitch. Nice little ball through, though. We've managed to actually break the line for once. Here's Lukaku. The thing is, we're deadly up front once we get going. Martinez, nice little spin move again. Tries to let it Lukaku. There is Lukaku near post. And a good save by the Milan goalkeeper. Corner ball. Pavon will take. It's whipped in. Lukaku's trying to jump for it. Cleared away. Can Dyer get there? No, intercepted. But Milan is still penned in. Here's Bastoni. 26 minutes played. Nice little ball down the line. Pavon's broke the line still. Can we whip it in? He can do. There's Lukaku. It's in. AC Milan keeper palmed into his own net. And the big man cannot stop scoring at the moment. An Inter Milan lead against the run of play in this game. Pressure from the corner. Beautiful ball down the line from Bastoni. Pavon held his run. Chips it into the box. And the big man beats his marker. And the Milan keeper can only palm it into the back of his own net. Inter Milan lead here in the derby. And all of a sudden, AC Milan look nervous. Here's Bastoni again. Inter look riled up. Let's get it. Kulevsky. Nice little spin move. Lays it across Martinez. Little one, two. They've not kept up with Martinez. He's in again. Martinez is two. And we said you cannot leave this man space in the box. Reto Martinez makes it 2 0 into Milan. And Brian Chambers' men are leading two in the derby. Oh my goodness. It's been all Milan from kickoff. And two goals out of nowhere from Inter have turned his game on its head. But look at the marking from AC Milan. You can see why they're struggling in the league. Defensively, they look very poor. 2-0 into Milan. Second half underway. AC again seem to have more of the possession. But just don't do anything with it. Can they get a lucky break here now? They've got Kessie. Nice little ball through. Hakan's running. They've got a ball here in the box. It's Duche off the post. And again, Milan not get the look. And into Milan finally. Can't they clear the lines? No, it's still in place. Kessie again goes from distance. And blocked again. Good defending from Inter. Woo! AC are putting that pressure on. 10 minutes to go. AC Milan needs something soon. Like I say, it's been all them at the moment, but we're 2-0 up still. That's a ball inside. Getting the block in. Beautiful block again by Skinnier. And the defending's just been too good. All right, last couple of minutes now. Free kick, though, for Inter Milan. Just play short to William, to Zanolio, who lays it across. There's Plata! Plata shoots, Plata scores! Gonzalo Plata seals the victory. And Milan have not been clinical, but Inter Milan have been. He might look at the stats and think AC deserved a draw maybe in this game, but you've got to take your chances. Touch inside Zanolio and then Gonzalo Plata, the Ecuadorian. What a start to his Inter Milan career. And it's 3-0. 
and surely the derby's been won. And there's the final whistle. Lukaku, Martinez, and Plata with the goals. We'll take all three points and a huge 3 0 victory. Flatters us a little bit, but I don't care. Three massive points. Can we sneak back into second or first? All right, let's keep an eye out for Napoli and uh, Juventus. Juventus won 3 1. Napoli drew 2 2 at Roma, though. So it means we're back into second. A point ahead of Napoli now, but only a point behind Juventus, who remain unbeaten. So do Napoli, too. We need to play them soon and get make sure they lose their first game. See, Milan third from bottom at the moment. Whew. Next episode will be Spal. Zagreb away so we can get out of the group stage. And Spezia, so you got to say we've got to try and win another six points there and three in the Champions League, brothers. So it's my birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday to me. I'll say it to myself. I don't care. We're trying to get 3,000 subs before my birthday. It's going to be tough, but we'll try and get there, brothers. And again, give us about 30, 40, 50 likes in this video for my birthday surprise. I'll try and get some videos out on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday if I can, but I might have the rest of the week off just chilling and celebrating my birthday. Maybe back on Monday, but we'll see, brothers. But smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Wagwan, welcome to the channel. Peace and love, brothers and sisters. And I'll see you on the flip side. Peace.